Today I'm going to talk about clumping bamboo and also gardening mistake I made and how I recently addressed it with the change. So in front here are the Old Hami giant timber bamboo varieties that I installed in my yard last summer. I bought these as three gallon, sorry, five gallon starts from Treeland Nursery out in Mesa, Arizona. And they were quite small at planting, um, really just the root mass and then maybe one cane to two canes. You can see my um, video near planting on what they look like back then. This variety can get up to 50 feet tall. It's definitely not at the, the max height at this point, but every time that a new cane emerges, um, it's getting thicker and thicker. Let's just take a look at these canes. This is a clumping variety. That's the only kind of bamboo I recommend you plant. Um, clumping means that the growth is going to stay contained to a six foot radius. And you can see the habit here. All these canes that have come out in the last year, they're all near each other. So I have quite a few of the giant timber in the yard. I also have this more miniature type variety. Um, this is the Alphonse Carr. A lot of people plant this in planter beds and, and stuff. This can actually even be container grown, this variety. This one's a little bit more unusual. It's got the striping pattern there yellow cane with green stripes and then the newer canes actually have a, a pinkish color to them. You can see the combs are quite thin on this. It's very bushy, very tight. Lots of canes. But definitely not as thick. And also you can see the height is less than half of what the um, giant timber is. Now these can get to a height of like 12 feet, 12 to 15 feet, but that's about it. So they're more of a dwarf style of clumping bamboo, if you will. And I think this is actually gonna make a good impact where it's planted because I have this Royal Poinciana that's in between the, the two of these. And so they kind of protect that trunk from winds. About a year and a half of growth and this is what it has done for me. You can see at the bottom it's fairly tight, contained to maybe a foot and then as you go up you know it spreads so it's almost like a, a V the shape of it, making it really nice as that living wall. Um, these are very cold tolerant, so this variety can go down to, I believe, something like 20 degrees. So we're not going to have frost situations with it. It's going to hold its own. Um, it stays green all year. So it doesn't drop its leaves in the cold. It does shed. So as long as you don't have a pool or something that you're putting this right up against, uh, you should be fine. I actually like that it sheds for mulch on my ground. But I'm really much in love with clumping bamboo for so many reasons. Um, the, the canes are edible, actually. The new shoots, the tender new shoots. Um, so they provide nutrition, um, certainly windbreak, privacy screen, and some people actually plan it as, um, as a soundscape. So what I decided to do 
does take out my two huge ficus trees that I planted six years ago. Six years ago, I really didn't know much about what you could grow here. I certainly had never heard of clumping bamboo or people using that as a privacy screen. I went with ficus because it could grow, grow fast, um, provided dense shade canopy, and I wanted something to grow quickly so I didn't have to look at the two-story homes behind me. Um, every year, uh, the tree has put on enormous growth. Uh, it got to the point where it was 20 foot high and about 15 foot spread, and its top height could be 50 feet here. There are, there are some people that have them in their front yards and literally the ficus tree looks like it's swallowing the home. It's so large. So it's really hard to maintain them. Um, and I didn't know that they would grow that fast or become that large. So you can see it's very open now to the light. A lot more sun is getting to these plants, which um, I think is going to be a good thing for this citrus. This is a tangerine, dancy tangerine. Um, and the guavas also really do well in sun, so I don't think they're going to miss that dense shade too much. And plus, um, the ficus also um, would compete for water with these plants, so some of them might have been robbed of water with how big that tree got. So this is the remaining stump. And what I'm doing, not surprisingly, is um, changing that out to clumping bamboo. I still want that privacy screen, but I want something that's going to be easier maintenance. I don't really get excited about the annual process of getting on a 15-foot ladder with a chainsaw and, you know, trimming down the ficus trees. It's a lot of work. With clumping bamboo, you know, you just clear out the old canes once a year. And that's about it. So you're not having to get on a ladder, you're right here. Uh, this variety I got from the Tropical Bamboo Nursery in Florida. They're an amazing online bamboo nursery if you're looking for bamboo. Um, Pete Canaris actually um, posted a little tour of, of their place, so I'll link that above. Um, you can check that out. It's just a stunning, magical place. Um, with all the varieties they have. They have something like 200 bamboo varieties. Uh, many of them are clumping, and I picked this one out from them. This is uh, an Asian lemon bamboo. And it's not going to get as large as the giant timber. Um, it has a fairly tight clustering growth habit. So the canes will be very closely knit on this variety. It's not going to be more open weave. Um, the canes have variation in them. So it's a solid green cane with uh, yellow stripes. So very ornamental. And this variety is going to get about, um, I believe, like an inch and a half on the comb size, so not too thick. And the top height somewhere around 20 feet which is going to be perfect, so it's going to kind of V out again and provide me with a screen so I don't see all that. Now I had two ficus trees growing, so you can see this one is also gone now. It's been diminished to a stump. And over here, behind my water feature, I've got another variety of bamboo. These, these were both in a three gallon size. I only paid $30 for the plant and then about that much for uh, shipping. And they did a fantastic job shipping as well. So this one is what they call silver stripe. So bambusa, dola, Marathala. I probably butchered the name there. When you see bambusa in the name of the bamboo variety, that generally tells you it's a clumping variety. 
So this one's going to be pretty unique in that it's going to have a green cane and then it really does have a silver stripe running through it. This variety too stays around the 20 foot range on height, on max height, and the combs maybe on this one are two inches. So they're not going to be as huge as the giant timber. So just a quick video, you know, I, I did make a gardening mistake here. You know, you learn new things as you go, and it wasn't too late to correct it. So if you have something in your yard and feel it was a mistake, change it out. Grow what you want. It's never too late.